Today we are going to create this object teleport effect in After Effects without using any third party plugin. It's very easy to create and you can use it to reveal any object you want. So let's see how to make this. Alright, so I thumbnail after I fix and in order to create this effect, you have to record a video of yourself catching an object. So here I'm going to use this one and it's just simply me catching a bottle like that. So you can catch whatever object you want, make sure not to break it. So once you're done with this, you can import the video in after Effects and you are ready to go. So we will begin by dragging this into our composition. So here we have our comp and now let's quickly pick some point where we have our bottle and from where we basically want to have our object reveal. So I'm going to pick this point. So I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate this and I'm going to freeze frame. So right click time. Let's go to freeze frame. Perfect. So after that, we can select the pen tool and we are going to quickly mask out our object. Now just simply mask out your object. You don't have to be very precise. So here we have our object and it is currently in the air. Now if I press play, you can see it will stay in there because we have freeze frame this. And now you will notice that we are able to see the hand and we can get rid of it by simply let's hide this and let's get rid of the hand first. So let's pick a clean frame. So this is a clean one. I'm going to select this, press Ctrl D, right click. Again, we are going to freeze frame. And now let's quickly select the pen tool and I'm going to draw a very rough mask around this region. Now we have created this. And now if I move in the beginning, we can enable this bottle as well. Now you can see our bottle will stay in the air. And at this point, we will have this reveal. Now we can go to this point and let's press the star key or you can just simply click on this to create a marker. Now this will be our cut point. So we can select this layer and let's quickly trim this. And now we can do one more thing. Let's select this and I'm going to quickly move this to the top so that this bottle is visible like that. And before this, it won't be visible. Perfect. Now let's create the teleport effect. So for that, we can select this layer, right click, pre-compose, and I'm going to call this one bottle. Make sure move all attribute is set. Just click on OK. So here we have this. Now I'm going to select this layer and we are going to basically create mask. So for that, select the pen tool. Now let's quickly zoom in and we're going to create a bunch of different small masks and then animate them like to create a growing effect. Just move whatever, wherever you want. So I'm going to move over here. Let's just click and let's draw a very rough circular mask like that. Now we can press M and I'm going to set this to none so that we can see. Let's create one to this side as well. Like that. And we can set this to none as well. Let's create one over here. And we can have one more again, set this to none. We can have one more to this side as well. Perfect. Let's set this to none as well. Now, once we are done with this, we can select all of them. Let's press M to reveal the mask path. Now let's add keyframe for all of them and we can probably zoom in. Now move like two frames behind and we are going to close all of these masks so that none of them are visible. So let's select this one and I'm going to quickly zoom in. You don't have to do it very precisely. Just make sure that all of these masks are pretty much closed. And once you're happy with this, we can move to the other mask. Let's pick this one and let's just close this up. Now here we have closed all of these masks and now let's go like two frames ahead and we are going to open them up so that our object is revealing slowly and slowly. Let's make this little bit bigger. So somewhere around here and let's pick this one and I'm going to make this big as well. We are basically revealing our object slowly and steadily. So once we're happy with this, we can again move two frames ahead. Now we want our full object to be visible. So for that, we can expand all of these masks so that none of the area is remaining. So let's just expand it fully. Now this area is visible. We can expand this mask. Now this is visible as well. Let's expand this one. And at last we can move it. Now our whole object is visible. So we can set all of them back to add. And let's set this to add. 
So once you're done with this, now if I press play, you can see we have this object revealing like that. So before we continue, if you enjoy my work and you want to support me, then you can join my Patreon page. Over there, you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on Patreon. So make sure to check it out. Link for that is in the description. Now let's continue. So at this point, we can start adding some outline, glowing outline. So for that, we can select this layer. Now, first, let's do one more thing. We can try to have a little bit of motion in this. So let's select this, press P for position. Let's add a keyframe. And in the beginning, we can move all of these masks to like a little bit up so that they are not stationary and they are moving. And we can have the keyframe over here so that they will move. And at this point, they will merge with the original bottle like that. So once you have this motion, we are ready to add some glowing outline. So there are two ways in which you can do that. And I'm going to apply both of them because they look nice. So first I'm going to select this layer, press Ctrl D to duplicate this. And on this one, we are going to apply the Vegas effect. Let's search for Vegas and let's drag it onto this. And I'm going to quickly solo this layer. So just to see what we are doing. Segment, I'm going to set this to one. Thickness, we can increase it up little bit like that and I think this looks good color you can play around with whatever you want I'm going to give it a nice blue color now let's unsolo it and I'm going to change its mode to add now in order to get rid of the below layer we can change this to transparent so that only this area these lines are visible after that let's apply fast box blur to like basically smooth these out and I think this looks good. We can play around with these even more. Now we have these glowing lines and there is one more thing in, in the beginning. You will be able to some see some lines so we can trim these as well. So they will be start appearing like that. Now let's add more glow to this or our lines. And for that, we can select this layer again and press Ctrl D. This time we are going to select the bottom one. And on this one, I'm going to apply turbulent displace effect. Let's drag it onto this and we can do one more thing. Let's apply fill effect. Let's drag it here and quickly change its color. I'm going to make it to this nice blue, which we have earlier. Change its mode to add and let's play around with the amount. So I'm going to lower this down so that we have just these barely coming out and you can play around with the amount as well. So now if I press play, you can see we have this very nice glowing outline. Perfect. Now you can apply glow to this as well. So let's search for glow and let's drag it onto this one. We are basically going to create some stacked glow. So for that, we can increase the amount and let's lower down this. Now you can see that we don't have any feather. So we can select all of these layers, press F. And I'm going to just increase the feather and let's set all of them to 10. Now all of these feathers have been set to 10. Now we can play around with the glow again. And let's select this. We can probably decrease the intensity. And let's duplicate this by pressing Ctrl D. Now we can increase the size. And let's create one more by selecting this and press Ctrl D once again. And let's increase this little more. And I think the amount is too much so we can play around with the lines and let's set them to somewhere around one. Yeah, I think this looks good. Now we can copy all of these clothes and let's just paste them onto this layer, which is at the bottom. Let's paste it. Now we have this too much clothes so we can again play around with these values. Now this is completely up to you, however you want to play with the glow. So now you can see we have this nice glow. Now we are done with the glow and our next step is to add some distortion effect. So for that we can right click, let's create an adjustment layer. And on this one, we are going to apply CC flow motion effect. Let's drag it onto this and I'm going to place this layer at bottom. Now let's see what this effect do. So if I increase the amount, you can see that it will warp our footage around this point. And we have two points in total. So one is over here and one is over here and we can use them to warp around. So first I'm going to move them to where we have the object. 
let's move this one over here as well now i'm going to enable the finer control and we can play around with the amount so let's add keyframe for both of them now we can select this press u to see the keyframes and in the beginning we can have it at zero and as we are moving we can increase the amount and let's increase this one as well so that we have this very nice warp effect now we can go a little bit ahead and i'm going to set these to zero this to zero as well we can select the keyframes easy is them now you can see we have this very nice warp effect again you can play around with the position of these so we can probably move them like here and now we have this very nice warp effect we can also play around with the fall off if you think that this is too intense then you can lower it down by simply moving it a little bit higher so after this we can have a little bit more distortion so i'm going to create one more adjustment layer and on this one we can apply bulge effect let's drag it onto this one and we can place it down below and this effect we can basically create a bulge so that the whole wall is moving so if i increase this and first let's increase the size of this effect to a region whatever you want and if i increase this we can easily bulge it in and out make sure that this pin edge is selected now let's pick the point where we have our object so around here looks good so first i'm going to set the bulge to zero now let's pick some point somewhere around here we can have this effect start a little earlier so let's add a keyframe press u let's move a little bit ahead and we can have the bulge going out and let's move a little bit ahead then we can set this to like let's say negative three or maybe negative two and as we have this we can again set this to plus two so as this is coming out this bulge will move and at this point we can set this to negative one let's move a little bit more ahead and i'm going to set this to zero so with this bulge effect what we are doing we are basically bulging it out in the beginning then you can see that it goes in then it comes out and then we have this very small flickering at the end which really enhance this effect like that now you will notice that this is not looking very impressive because the speed is very slow for this animation what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all of these keyframes and let's just make this faster so hold on the alt key and i'm going to move them a little bit closer now let's move it ahead so now you can see we have this object coming in very quickly and now we can play around with the starting duration so we can trim this off and let's change their position as well and let's move them ahead and we can make them smaller as well and now if i press play you can see we have this much better and this faster effect now at last we can have some texture in the background so for that let's right click and i'm going to create a solid and let's apply a fractal noise effect increase the contrast let's slow down the brightness once you're happy with this we can select the lips tool and let's create a mask so that it is visible only in this region let's select this press f and feather it out now we are going to apply cc vector blur and let's apply it onto the top increase the amount so now you can see we have this very nice texture and let's apply tint to this to change the color and we can change it to probably let's set this to blue only and we can change its mode so let's set this to add and let's pick a point so somewhere around here we can move this to this point and let's play around with its size so double click on this mask and i'm going to decrease the size and let's just quickly play around with the opacity so let's add a keyframe for opacity and i'm going to set this to zero in the beginning and let's set this zero at the end and in the middle we can like increase it somewhere around here 
now you can see we have this very nice texture and we can animate it as well by using the evolution so let's add a keyframe for evolution let's go to the very beginning and somewhere around here let's increase this value a lot now if i press play you can see we have this moving texture effect as well now let's increase the duration so that we have this little bit of texture before and after so now if i press play you can see we have our teleport effect for this water bottle and in the same way you can use whatever object you want and you can apply the same effects to reveal it like this so this is how you can create these kind of animations and the project files for this tutorial is available on patreon so if you're supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you're not then you might consider it because you will get access to the tutorial project files and exclusive templates that are available only on patreon so make sure to check it out link for that is in the description and with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one Thank you.